Wrestle Buddy Podcast. All about wrestling. Subscribe and follow for more content. Hello and welcome everybody to the latest episode of the Wrestle Buddy Podcast. I'm your host at True Critch on Twitter. I'm here with Harold and Zane. Harold, your social. You can find me at the Rev Cupid sixty one on Twitter or at WrestleBuddy.com. Uh, I'd like to pass it on to my friend Zane now. Yeah, thanks, Harold. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Zane PW. I've been doing stuff for Sports Kita for a while now. You can find me at TWM and at Sports Obsessive. Well, SummerSlam has just passed us last time. I was here. I wasn't. He. I was. On, I was on the podcast because I was actually at SummerSlam. What a flex! <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> rub, rub, it, rub it in our faces, why don't you, Ray? <laughs> I've. I had. I got to man. We've been in a pandemic. We have not seen. Yeah. I have not seen wrestling since like right. December of 2019. And it was a little NXT show live event, and that's, and I I've been dying for this, blew out my expectations. I know you guys were kind of talking about how how I was watching. I thought everything, like delivered, like even I, I Becky versus Bianca. Uh, I'll, I'll get to that when we talk about okay, SmackDown. Okay. I'll, I'll get okay, to that yeah. when we talk about SmackDown. But well, I only missed one match, and it was Drew versus. Um, gender because i was trying to get some food and that yeah. was about it um, uh, it wasn't too bad though yeah I, decent but I, miss I much, but Drew, he, he deserves to get a match at <sighs> at SummerSlam, so we'll see and um so let's start off with raw raw not much happened but little things happened and what i i what i like is uh bobby and sheamus are getting a little tease and they're gonna have a match this this monday but you know knowing Knowing Raw, like they'll have a match, probably ends up in DQ. Maybe we get the tag stream rules because I, I want to like take a second to praise Sheamus. Like I think Sheamus, since coming since like this year, has been on like all cylinders, having great matches with Drew Riddle. I think him and Priest at SummerSlam was one of my favorite matches. I think I don't know if it, it delivered on TV, but being there live in person, I just like. The kickouts, it started out slow and then it was going bigger and bigger. And it was cool to see Priest get his uh time to shine. Uh what do you guys are thinking about this? Priest is kind of teasing a feud with Lashley. And or uh, yeah, champion versus champion. What could that mean? Uh Harold, what what do you think about this? Uh evidently him uh for, I know where I want to go with this. Uh, Priest being the younger of the two, okay, you got to remember, Bobby Lashley's been around the world doing this. And we're undoubtedly seeing the best Bobby Lashley we've ever seen for a long time. So as far, I, I, I think the feud will work well. It, it's going to deliver well. I don't want to see too much hype behind it because I find that there's too much hype behind a feud like this. Uh, especially of this caliber, champion versus champion caliber. You know, you, you don't want to have it come back and feud. And I think Bobby Lashley is going to put Damian Priest over in a big, big, big way. Yeah, I think also to point out the drafts coming up, and I think yeah. Extreme Rules will be like uh, a lot of one-offs. Because, yeah. and because like uh, maybe. Because Drew has really nothing. He can't challenge Bobby. Maybe he'll go to SmackDown. We get him on SmackDown. That would be interesting. Uh, Zane, any thoughts on this, like, Bobby Priest? Yeah. Um, so, I actually enjoyed the whole Sheamus' involvement. And as you said, that Sheamus has been on one of his best spells as of late. And as Har- Harold mentioned, I would like to point that out, that Bobby has been the best we've ever seen him. And he's at the top of his game. So I think that uh, while you were guys discuss, you guys were discussing who could be the next opponent for Lashley, I feel like uh, Goldberg is going to be the next opponent, and that's going to happen in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Crown Jewel. 
yeah the, because yeah, the, yeah because <laughs> goal, goal, but that finish wasn't a finish for a decisive match or for a blow off match for a feud so for extreme rules i think they might feed him shamus although he's facing shamus ne- uh, this week like coming week so it'll be intriguing to see how that pans out yeah and i i could see having that crown jewel cuz yeah we get makes that makes much more sense yeah, we get those big legends matches. I think uh, we'll get to SmackDown, but I think Brock and Roman's probably happening at Crown Jewel. And oh, big they, time! I agree. They 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 want those big matches at there, and it's like, yeah, it's probably gonna happen there. Say so, like we can all talk about yeah. the Saudi Arabia stuff, but yeah. nothing we can do. We we don't. We, we're not business we're not is the business. Ones. We're this not is what, business. Yeah. Whether it's yeah. clean, whether the money's clean or not, we're not right. the ones. Uh, we don't run the business, so we can't <laughs> tell them no, don't go. So is it wrestling in the morning. It's kind of cool. It can be, and it, being from West Coast time, uh, like we're all over the place here at WrestleBuddy. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, See, I'm East Coast Canada, so like it'd be the afternoon for me. So yeah. it's still cool. Either even yeah. at night, it's still yeah. cool. But afternoon, but it's kind of you know, mm. it's more cool. To, you know, you can sit back, relax, and you 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 know. Nobody you bothers got you, the rest usually of the in the afternoons, right? Yeah. <laughs> For once in a uh, while, it, it will be at in the evening at 8 p.m., like the usual whatever yeah. you see for me, at least. Yeah, yeah. for you. That's that's uh, that's good for you guys. We know how yeah. then we know how it feels for you guys when we're watching yeah. shows in the yeah. morning. Um then uh we, we I feel like we talked about him every episode here on the podcast. Carrie and Cross now has a <laughs> unique look to him say it say it christian what does he look like (laughs) go go on (laughs) yeah random glad i've seen gladiator i've seen like a is he uh is he still wearing that thing around his trunks there makes him look try to make him look like a gladiator gladiator and then now he has like an x he has leather buckles oh really like only guy who made that look cool was sean sean michaels like he made the little weird yes 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 Yes, but you know, I think if given the chance, I think Kerry and Cross can pull it off. I mean, you got to realize he's building up his character too, right? So I, I, I can actually see this happening for like not. I can't see this happening for everybody, but for Kerry and Cross, I think it would work for him. He could make that. He's got the potential with this X thing there or on his chest and all that stuff. He could got the potential, I think, to uh, take that character and just ride the lightning with it man and the man can go like i i really enjoyed his match with samoa joe it was hard hitting <sighs> joe joe i uh, just love he did it and it was that was pretty cool it was storytelling at its finest yeah. in my opinion um oh well, it seems like alexa and charlie are gonna face each other for the title which is cool like um i a lot of people were giving flack of the Eva and Alexa match, but I was there. People were trying. People were trying to get it, like trying to do the "We Want Wyatt" chats. But by the end of the night, everybody was cheering for Alexa to beat Eva Marie's ass, and then they were going crazy for uh, for Dewdrop. So, oh. it's, it, and then like the whole like Dewdrop turning her back on Eva. It's what <laughs> it's. it's they they did it like it felt so lackluster like i thought there was going to be a bigger turn or th- there was going to be something else but it was like all there was going to be a match or she's going to proper turn and beat the hell out of eva in the ring but it was like all right love bye and she didn't even change her name like she said i'm gonna yeah. remain do drop next night on raw and well so, it's like the, it's like the shorty g stuff like yeah it was supposed to be a joke and then oh i yeah. like it but then look at chad gable now he's back to being yeah. chad gable so. <laughs> he was pissed off that he was called short yeah, so uh, that, that, that was that. A little and, uh, short-tempered, are we? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, it looks like Extreme Rules. Abel's really got nothing getting... to hang his head about, that's all I got to say. Yeah. Uh, we're getting Alexa Charlotte, Bo- Bobby and Sheamus, maybe, if this match ends up in, like, a an DQ, and then they yeah. want to go at Distraction it. Distraction finish. And yeah. then it becomes a tag team match. Yeah. But, yada, yeah, yada, Rock, yada. <laughs> I don't think was that bad as people love to bash yeah. on it, but yeah. uh, and I, I man, I, I the heavyweight division on Ross really good. I just yeah, and I, I, but, I'm, I, I, 
I mean, because I think that has yeah, potential yeah. for a put, huge potential yeah. swerve later on down the line to set up a huge feud between the two. And I think this is the beginning of it. Yeah, I hope and so. A lot of, I've seen a lot of tweets of like your Royal Rumble 2021, 2022, damn, uh, winner, Riddle. And I'm like, yeah, that, oh, that's very likely. He's, that's very likely. Damn, it, like him coming out uh, at SummerSlam over, man. And it's like, oh, yeah, and, how was it? Randy. That that was like really fun. Like Randy, you could tell he loved like the crowd being back, and like you can just tell Randy loves this this. Like when Randy likes something, he he puts in all his effort into it. And I think RK Bro, like that's a perfect way to start SummerSlam. RK Bro, everybody's going and, crazy, and it's not as much of a shoot to him too. On top of that, too, it takes a lot of pressure off. Yeah. Yeah, and this this had been the most like exciting tag team the tag raw tag titles have been like when RK Bro reunited. Yeah, like, people were going crazy. So I, I I love this, and then we know it's going to lead to probably Randy turning heel. And I I think the, the opposite actually. I feel like Riddle. See, I I got a lot of heat for saying it last time, but I, like uh, when I mentioned it to a friend, but I feel like Riddle's going to be the one to turn on Randy. And that's going to be the swerve. And as I said before, that Vince has this idea that his top babyface can't be a jolly guy. Like, he has some of this, like, he wants them to be serious. The last time we saw it was Kofi Kingston. And he he turned to a lot more serious side after his championship win. So I feel like if he wants, like, a funny character, he, he, he he's invested in Riddle. Because as we all know, Riddle is a top-notch, world-class athlete. And he he's hanging in there with AJ Styles and Randy Orton. So I think he might... Be the one to turn heel. I'm not sure. Yeah. That's what I was, you, when I, oh, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Something. That heel turn, right? I was kind of thinking along the same lines as that to a certain extent when you were talking about that, and it blew my mind. Okay, somebody out there is kind of thinking like I am. So yeah, yes. kudos. Yeah. And it, have you seen? Uh, Riddle goes on interviews <laughs> and yeah. talks so I, much smack, <laughs> right? He he just to, he just called the tribal chief that he's not a needle mover like that whole needle mover thing that has yeah. been all over Twitter, and then he's like he goes out and talks so much crap about anybody on the <laughs> roster. It's like, yeah, like maybe he can be healed. Like he knows how to stir the pot in interviews, even as a baby face right now on TV. So that's that's hilarious. Bill Goldberg is his bro though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I love. I just love how a troll he is. He's like, gonna retire Brock one day. <laughs> I hope. Hey, Brock has eight, supposedly eight matches. Yeah, eight hopefully. matches over the span of a year and a half. Yeah, so hopefully Riddle. I want to see Riddle. I want to see Walter. Oh, Wal- uh, Yeah, please. Yeah, we're, there's so many. Like, hopefully it's done right. And when Brock goes out there, he they he delivers so. Yeah, he let's does. Hope it's, let's hope it's fresh faces. Yeah, it, it, it's a definitely he's a he's a guarantee. I mean, there's not a lot like obviously the Roman thing is happening, but four or five but, times. But, yeah. Oh, oh, but, I like, hope it doesn't cut to Roman. the point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, that's, it's a that's different exciting Roman. thing. That's and a different Brock thing. too. Like, uh, I, I don't know if you guys saw on Twitter like how happy he looks. It's like this is a yeah. baby face Brock we're getting. We haven't really had a baby no, face. But but he's super. Is, the is shit this out why? Of John. Yeah. Is this why he had the ponytail? Is that his face look? <laughs> I, I don't know. I think that's that was just his like I'm um, in quarantine look. But hopefully he keeps it. Yeah. It's different. <laughs> it looks yeah. badass. He looks cool. Oh, that beard made Brock's, like old. Brock's old as old man, man. Um, well, let's go on. No, to but NXT. with the beard, it makes him look yeah. even older than he actually is. Like before I shave mine off, I mean, I'm not going to go into details about that, but you guys, you guys see me with the beard. So, yeah. <laughs> so we got, shave it off, Brock. We got NXT <laughs> and a few highlights. I think um, Kaylee Ray is coming yeah. in. Well, and well, yeah. a little, a bigger announcement. Uh, the We all saw on Friday the new splash color yeah. scheme. Honestly, I love Wale. I tried to go to his after party at Vegas. I couldn't get in. Oh, I, I, oh, I wasn't no. dressed for it. <laughs> I wasn't dressed for it. But that's another story. Uh, but I love Wale. That song sounds pretty good. Uh, I think it's different. And we'll see what it's about. But they're still continuing certain storylines that on NXT, no matter all these rumors of the yeah. rebrand. Yeah. Can but, we also discuss the new look now? The Yeah, the little the splash logo. logo. 
yeah, yeah, yeah that's uh, what, I, I I don't think it's that bad. Like people, a lot of people are over examining it. I feel c- compared to the, their last logo, like that look, the black and gold brand, the thing we've heard from like this past six or seven years, like the it, yellow and a black logo. I think the new logo pales in comparison to that. But if we're going for a revamp, I don't think it's that bad. Yeah, and it's we've had that black and gold logo since 2010. Yeah. Since, oh, the, yeah. uh, since, NXT since, day, since day one. Yeah. Since the NXT, uh, no, the, the reality competition one. Yeah. So, it, yeah, it's time for a change. Like, okay, Raw hasn't had, yeah, it's always been blue and red and all that, but for Raw and SmackDown, but something different. What, they're going to change the titles to have, uh, to for the straps to be all rainbow color? Like, <laughs> uh, things, like oh, yeah, yeah. And then, like, it's too with uh takeover 36 the logo was like just looked like a regular yeah, episode of the, the logo NXT. was a disappointment yeah for takeover uh, 36 and then it's like it's this is your summer slam you guys like go all out call it something different like they even what there was in your house vengeance they even stand ran and them, deliver stand and deliver but just 36 and it's like it's not a really uh significant 36 like I, I would get it yeah. if it was like 35, but yeah, yeah uh, it, it was, yeah, I, I'm, I'm curious to see this change and apparently Triple H is still going to be in charge. So, and, and like, if you think about it, NXT does feel new, it, like it has been slowly turning new with Kaylee Ray showing up. We got um, Ridge Holland getting yeah. a, a top Push spot uh the new breakout star carmelo hayes and yeah, uh, yeah. a great match carmelo hayes uh, oh, i'm curious to see yeah i'm curious to see what title he goes to people were it, had threw out the idea that maybe he'll go for a tag title with odyssey jones oh I, I, that I could like be the, possible that could be possible yeah. i feel like the cruiser will be title i feel like he could throw a good mix into there yeah oh man i want kushida to come back already i've been i, I was Roger yeah. and Kushida, that match. Yeah, I'm dying actually, to see that. that. Yeah. Roddy is so good. Yeah, I'm. I'm glad. And Roger, I'm glad Roger's getting a spotlight. And the, uh, there's rumors that him, Gargano, I think are they're trying to make them the top heels of a uh, NXT, which I have and no understandable. complaints about. Understandable. Yeah. And like, and then we got a little tease with Joe and his potential challengers be done. La Knight, Kyle O'Reilly, <laughs> the a little. Joe versus everybody. Yeah, for like in great matches, I'm pumped. I was hoping Walter would have shown up, uh, given a I, little tease, if he was yeah. still in the area. I feel he's gone. But, I feel like he's gone. Yeah, like, he back probably already flew back. Yeah. But the, yeah, they're pushing really hard to keep him in the U.S. But he's very like stubborn about staying. Yeah, in Europe. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm excited for that, and then. Uh, we got uh, Legado de Fantasmas has a new woman, Electra Lopez, which I thought was a great. I, I don't know too much of Electra, but I'm excited to see where this goes because I, I re- I'm a huge fan of stables with women. Really like one woman that could go with the men. Like Sanity was, I was a huge Sanity fan. And yes. like if we get like this huge. Man, what what if this um, Survivor Series isn't too far off? Usually, War Games happens. What if this leads to a War Games with two Ooh. women in the yeah? Big time. Because stretch, every time stretch. there's uh, there's the Undisputed Era in this, and now the Undisputed Era is broken up, and half of them <laughs> might be gone. So we don't First know. Peace. To the <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> and then uh, I don't know if you guys want a little Adam Cole talk. You yeah, know, sure. Uh, Go ahead. Lab- let's let's do this. A lot of people, <laughs> where, where do you guys see? Harold, where do you think he's going? Mm. Well, he's earned the right to call himself the most, uh, you know, the best oh, okay. wrestler NXT has ever had in any era of that division. <laughs> uh, but with that being said, a lot of them have that right to say that. Um, Bailey, Sasha. You know, the one he wrestled there in 36. Kyle? Kyle. Yeah, Kyle. Kyle, too, and uh, Champa's another one. So, 
um, I think what Adam Cole has done has created a big market markup for himself is what he done. And right now, everybody's thinking he's going to go to Impact or he's going to AEW. He's going to there, there, there. Uh, but he could pull a swerve and run back to ROH. Or then again, he was offered a huge contract with WWE. I wouldn't be surprised if we've seen him on either Raw or SmackDown. Hmm. I, I feel like that. I, I have to somewhat agree with Harold. Like everyone's jumping to conclusions right now. He might take, I feel like he might take a break a bit. Like he won't show up anywhere for a while. And then he suddenly shows up because it's right now it's a coin toss where he shows up next. Yeah, I think if it was, if like he wasn't a free agent, obviously like I want him on Raw. But like the, these teases of like of the Young Bucks trolling, Omega yeah. trolling, like he's friends with them. But then he's also friend, like he's he, he. I don't know if you guys watch on Up Up Down Down. He's having the time of his life yeah. with Cesaro and and Xavier and Woods. The party. And, yeah, the party and Tyler Breeze, who's released but still shows up, and like, and they're playing Uno every week. Like they're having the time of their life, and it's just like, I don't know, stress stressful. And then like, uh, people thought he was gonna show up on SmackDown because he canceled the Twitch. But obviously it didn't happen, and uh, I would want him on Raw because I think Raw needs more guys. Yeah. The only man who knows is Adam Cole. So exactly, just, and I and and plus and to think, oh no, no, sorry, uh, and to think too, like you know, if the Adam Cole makes it to the main roster, obviously they're going to have to uh, to have a group of people that they're going to be able to surround him with that will work well. You know what I mean? So. With the draft, I think they're going to wait until after the draft and see who they got. And I'd say, you know, maybe Survivor Series. He comes back as a surprise entrant in one of the, uh, that sounds, you know, Survivor Series matches. That sounds cool. Yeah. But um, one thing, like this will transition to now we can talk about AEW. Um, if he goes to AEW, it's like there's so many people already on the roster. They just got punk. And now there's a rumor. Ryan Danielson's on his way there too. Yeah. And yeah. then like so many big names. And like, I just feel what I hurts me the most. is like guys who been there since day one and like barely like scratch. Get buried. Surf. Get buried. Yeah. They're, they're if, like, they get on. If Adam Cole I, goes there, man, if he goes there, he's going to get buried. No, I, he'll I, have a good spot since he has his friends, but it's like, what about these other? What about Dark Order? What about Hangman? Who Darby, I, Darby Allen, Darby? Like, I have a full. I feel like Hangman could be the first guy or the biggest oh, no. star to jump to WWE. No, no, no. Oh, I, I don't, big you know, I don't think so. I, I, time. I have a feeling. You know, I, like I, he's not. He's not an executive there. He ha He has a contract. Maybe he will. See, Hangman is like the guy they're building AEW around. Like, that's what I perceived from the start because he was the guy, like, if you track AEW, it's been history. Lost to Jericho, then tag team champion. Then he's going to be the next world champion now. I'll play the devil's advocate here. I, I think that helps them in a way because there are so many wrestlers doing indie bookings and these showings and taking breaks that it allows for them to revolve the roster like a door and they can put some guy at the top while the other guy goes on a break. Or they can they have time for their top players to take off, so that's kind of the counter argument to that. But yeah, for the most part, I agree with you guys. Because yeah, and then look at uh, I was looking over, like thinking about all oh, out's pay per view. We got like, do we really need Paul White versus QT Marshall? No, we don't. We don't to take to take <laughs> we, Orange Cassidy might be in a feud with Hardy, but they just had a match on Dynamite, but. Like Malachi what, Black isn't on it. Isn't on Ma it. But and then that's where I'm going. Oh, was I gonna talk about right. uh, Malachi and Brock Anderson in the main event? Like that was like, and I, I enjoyed it, like how I think their plan was to get pity and uh, like get people to cheer for 
Anderson, but they just love it. The same thing with Goldberg and Lashley. Lashley was getting his ass beat, and it was probably supposed to get yeah. Lashley booed, <laughs> but everybody in the crowd was going crazy for that. Were you booing, uh, booing Goldberg, though? Yeah, I felt I felt bad. This <laughs> older this older lady next to me was like she cheered for all the older wrestlers, like Edge, which I I was there with her cheering for Edge, and Goldberg, and uh, Cena. Like she was cheering for all all the older wrestlers, and she was going for Goldberg. I'm talking about oh he looks great right now, and I was like oh sorry lady I'm gonna boo him. <laughs> like I want I was like, happy. Is that? And I was just happy. I was just happy. Lashley got his got yeah. got his, the reaction he's deserved for years. Like he's a yeah. badass, yeah. and he got he got a great. Uh, he, but yeah, on yeah. AW, uh, yeah, that whole Malachi Black beating Brock, and then out comes uh, was it Lee? Lee Johnson came out. Yeah, Lee Johnson. To like no reaction. It's like, uh, but it's like, uh, I think they're obviously like Malachi is going to run through the factory and then Co- yeah. this leads to Cody's big return that a lot of people are expecting cheers for. Like, they probably, I don't know. Uh, and I'm like, uh, like, I just can't. I'm sorry. Like, love Cody as a wrestler, but like, if you know he runs the 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 company, I can't buy him as a baby face. I can't have pity for him. And it's yeah. he's trying to make himself seem like the baby face here, but I don't know. But yeah, yeah. What, what's your guys' thoughts? You guys think it's gonna happen? Um, uh, Cody Malachi versus Cody. I'd love to see that. Actually, because it'd be quote, it, it would be quote unquote Cody's redemption, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, but I would like to see Cody do it as a heel, not as a face. Yeah, I oh. think a heel versus heel match, I think, would be what would be good for Cody Rhodes right now. Yeah, I feel like, um, with Cody returning, it's kind of has the same sh- uh, shades to that of. Mr. Brody Lee, like when he came, when he squashed Cody, and then two weeks later, Cody came back with another hair color and then beat mm-hmm. Mr. Brody Lee in the dog color match. I feel like the, the story is going to be like, I beat Brody after being squashed so I can beat you. And then Malachi squashes Cody again. So that would be an interesting touch to see. Like maybe, maybe Cody is losing it. And that sets into a paranoia, which might later play into his heel turn. I can see that. Yeah, but the, can see and then it's like, a, like, if we have this match, I, I just think the whole like uh, all out, like Punk, Punk and Darby, yeah, I I, I want to watch that. But like a lot of rematches, yeah, we're getting uh, the Lucha Bros versus Young Bucks in a steel uh, cage, There's... in a steel cage this time, yeah. and then I MJF feel like Jericho. We, MJF Jericho, and then uh, there was another one. Cage Omega, and Cage and Omega, which they gave out for free on TV, yeah. So it's I I think they're kind of depending on that big punk match and uh, the possible. Uh, that's the thing that that's the thing that worries me is that one particular match because that could either that has a big potential to fail at delivering because yeah. I feel that I think right now is almost too much hype behind that match and yeah. what I'm scared of. Is that okay? They can have a great match. It might even be a five star match, but the fans won't realize it for what it is, and they'll be all disappointed. You know what I mean? I, I that's what I'm looking at. And it's a Chicago crowd, so I think they'll just—it's a punks crowd, yeah—and they'll eat up anything that's happening. So, we'll, yeah, but you don't we'll want to overhype it either, right? And that's yeah. what I think that's happening. I see. I but don't want to think- overhype so much that you know it's going to fail to uh, live up to expectations. I think it's overhyping itself. The match is overhyping itself because it's CM Punk's, uh, CM Punk, the guy who left wrestling at his prime, his first right. match back in seven years. So there's going to be a lot of pressure and there's a big chance that it under delivers and maybe people have too much high expectations going in. So as yeah. Harold said, I'm quite a bit scared about this one. Yeah. And he he did he was yeah. he was one of those guys who like did a few moves like he would go all out every time so uh but Darby is a smaller guy and Darby can make anything look good 
So yes. we'll see. I'm I'm curious to see what happens after. Like what what more what other dream matches are we getting out of this? And though a lot of the dream matches I wish he had were in WWE. There's a, a lot of guys in NXT when he left. I was like, why didn't you stay to wrestle Zayn yeah. and Nakamura, o- uh, Nakamura Owens? Yeah, yeah, a lot of guys. But yeah, he's getting this, and you know, I, I was kind of upset when he quit. And you know, I, I'm anyone who like if if mentally he wasn't feeling it, then that's okay. Like mental health comes first. But yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. man, screw. <laughs> like, why'd you quit on us? And then well, when he showed up, it, he's going. He, rumor has it. Are we talking about Bray Wyatt? Oh, uh, punk. Punk. Okay, I was for some reason I was thinking about the Ray Wyatt thing. Rumor has it he may be going to Impact with with the. Yeah, I was character. gonna go on Impact yeah. soon, but I I just want to say like. Yeah, I was upset he quit, but then I was re- like, once he came out, I was just smiling. I was like, "Fuck, man, this was still yeah. cool." <laughs> and he came back, uh, and now I'm like curious. Let's see how he goes after this. So yeah, that's that's cool that he he's back on wrestling. And it just makes if AEW gets popular, WWE will step up their game. So yeah. that's cool. Um, for Impact, uh, I got some notes from our friend Joe. Yes, uh, who couldn't make it today, but. Get well Feel soon, better, Joe. Joe. Uh, we got uh, Deanna Prazo won at last night's NWA in power. It looked like <laughs> very fun. I saw great tweets about it. And then there's also rumors that Bray, Braun, and I think for sure, I think Buddy's like, Buddy Murphy's for sure signed. So yeah. we're getting some new faces. You guys see Bray showing up on Impact, or you think he's too big? No, no offense to Impact. But... Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but I, I feel like Impact's the best place for those guys who never won world titles to get better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like we see, Diana was hardly used on WWE, and look at her now. Uh, Brian Myers had a losing streak, which was awesome, but he's now like he got a world title shot. So. Yeah. Rich Swan too, barely a cruiserweight champion. Like I think oh. impacts the better, better place for guys who didn't get that shot in other but, companies and now get better shots. But I feel so. like uh, impact is not the same as TNA was back in mid two thousands or late two thousands. I feel like for a world champion like Bray Wyatt, uh, do you think th- one of the biggest merch sellers for WWE? Do you think it? would be the right decision to go to a show that clocked 98,000 last week. Like, even, like, it did, I, I might be wrong, it was 98 in the demo, but it did very few numbers. Do you think, like, he would want to go there? Or can he, like, show his craft to more people, to a wider audience in AEW? Uh, we lost Harold. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't know, because I, I think it could help Impact. But Brace become such a star on his yeah. but then again like we were saying another big star that get will overshadow a lot of guys that have been there all their yeah. whole lives uh whole since day one so it's interesting and then we got guys like we got those darker characters like malachi black and and darby that he could have matches with so yeah uh, i i'm curious i also bronze a former world champion too we, we oh yeah <laughs> sorry, sorry the, yeah <laughs> And yeah, I, but I feel like he's a good fit for yeah, he's impact a good fit for impact. impact. He, he'd work in impact because you don't see him as the world great guy, although he can go in the ring, but he was never labeled the guy who's like the athletic, more able mm-hmm. guy or who brings something new to the table. But he's still one of the best large men, like we have seen in the recent past. His feud with Roman was one of the best things of his career, and at WWE of, at that time, like the feud with Roman in 2017, 2018, where he went just went, I'm not finished with you. I, oh, I love that. I, yeah. I love that. Yeah, I love, I love that. that time, too. Yeah, imagine yeah. if he comes back one day and says, I'm not finished with you and just bar some Roman. <laughs> but yeah, yeah uh, I feel like uh, Impact could be a good landing spot for Braun. Yeah, as an unstoppable beast. I, yeah. May, yeah. Maybe take the title of Omega. Sorry, Christian off Cage. Christian Cage, yeah. yeah. And then we got Ace Austin facing. Yeah, he. Yeah, he's a yeah. contender for the title, right? Yeah, and it, it looks like could we be getting the youngest thing? I don't mm. know. I just really want 
them to like all right you, it was on omega cool it was yeah. for him to look cool with all those championships but now it's like they gave it to cage i love i'm a huge peep i love like it was so great seeing him but i was hoping like he'd be like the track yeah the title. so yeah they need yeah. to start but, building some guys i think too but i think it was oh. andy who mentioned it the other day he was like someone from impact or maybe it was you christian that should have taken the title of Omega because keeping Christian Cage as the transit transitor, like move from Omega to someone else, like he's kind of the breaker. If, for example, let's say Brian Myers defeated Omega, let's say Moose defeated Omega, how much big of an impact, no pun intended, would that have made if Moose defeated Omega for the Impact World Championship when uh, Omega had all the bells? Now, that would have been one way to put over Impact Talent, but this way, losing to Cage <laughs> takes away some of the glory of beating Omega. So, I feel like they kind of botched it there. Yeah, and, and uh, like, yeah, you're going to beat a legend like Christian Cage, but having, beating like a top guy like Omega, it would be, like, uh, well, this can transition to... SmackDown, the guy who beats Roman is going to be like the next big, yeah. the biggest star in wrestling. The next because, big thing. Uh, Brock Lesnar. But not the next, <laughs> next big thing. Because <laughs> if you look at it from since he won that title, he's beaten Bray, Braun, Owens, Brian, uh, Edge, Cena, Edge, Cena Cesaro. Like that's Cesaro. Everyone. And now we'll maybe Brock. And then he be he be Drew while he was champion too. Yeah. Oh, champion. That was such a great match. People look over yeah. it, but I enjoy that match so much. And, and I, he started off that title reign against his own cousin Uso. Yeah, Jay. Yeah, was, like which was like one of, one of the most greatest matches during yeah. the Thunderdome era. Like whoever yeah. beats him, hopefully Big E. A great development into history with that those nuances as Paul walked uh, like. Oh. Uso's not, not letting Paul into the room and they were like, you knew Brock was going to be there. You knew Brock was going to be there. And when Roman came back, it was like, what are you talking about? It was like this, uh, have you seen The Godfather, the second part? It was like Al Pacino kidding, uh, kissing Fredo and he's saying, I knew it was you, Fredo. And like for betraying him. And it gets so much of that mafia vibe. Your family, I love you, but I'm going to be the shit out of you next week. <laughs> like oh. it has that kind of touch to it. And then, like, when they left to the ring, and he's like, oh, but it's a family celebration. What are you talking about? You are family. And it's just, yeah. like, <laughs> and it's, like, the mental, like, these little things throughout the show to lead to that. Like, that's just amazing. And, like, everything yeah. they've been doing, uh, the, the bloodline, the travel chief stuff, amazing stuff. Right. That's why, like, I think whoever beats Roman will be the yeah. next bit start yeah. which which should have happened with omega whoever beat omega should have been another new star and it, hopefully it's not i, I hope it's not brock because oh, he's already but, done everything he's already- here's, here's here's what i think is going to happen see sadly so a, a extreme rules is going to be his face fin because brock lesnar is not not going to show up at a b show pay-per-view at yeah. kingdom of saudi arabia <laughs> brock lesnar is going to defeat roman reigns see that's what i'm thinking and then roman gets it back so out of those eight matches, two are done. And they're going 50-50, it's so bad, and they're going to mess it up. And I oh hope God. they don't. I hope they don't, but they really want, they really love putting the title on Brock whenever he's around. Uh, I hope not, but man, I, I, I really hope they do it right. Because Roman, like, every time you think, like, could, could, uh, could, like I, I believe like Owens could have beat him. But then even Ed, like yeah. Edge is back. He won the Rumble. Like they yeah. want to make like to to close the story. They'll give him the title. No, they don't. And then yeah. even Seth's been teasing stuff. Yeah, like, oh, he's been saying. Yeah. And, and then he, he, where I, what I looked into the promo is like maybe I want to be like you, Edge. I saw it as a way of um, a face like, turn. No, like the ultimate opportunist. Oh, like, okay. What yeah. What if, what if Seth tries to take the briefcase off of Big E? Yeah. Oh, that would like that would how, be an interesting touch. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want <laughs> Big E to lose his briefcase. Yeah. Cause... How how Edge took it off Mr. Kennedy, right? Yeah. Stuff yeah. like that. Like, it, it's interesting to see where 
things go. I think Edge is another guy who will probably go to Raw. Yeah, he's already I, done everything. I actually, actually, really want to see Edge versus Lesnar. Like for some reason, that's the match that first popped in when uh, Lesnar came back. Obviously, there are Lesnar versus Lashley's on the table. Um, <laughs> Les- Lesnar versus Goldberg. I fucking hope not. But for <laughs> WWE, that is on the table. Uh, see, one of those Saudi Arabia shows that throw the money and, well, we have Hulk Hogan coming back from retirement or something like that. Mm. So, yeah, I, f- I feel like there are so many matches. I- let's let's think, of the, think of it this way, something that popped up in my mind. What if Brock showed up on SummerSlam, right? And they just teased it. And Roman beats Finn, Roman beats then beats whoever's next. Brock gets straight to Raw, goes through top contenders. And then at WrestleMania... They both collide, and SummerSlam was just a teaser for WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. And that that could be a good thing too, because yeah, you know, Bobby deserves that match with Lesnar. Yeah, it, it, it needs to happen. And then maybe it's like, oh, and then it's like a big sigh of relief for Heyman to be like, oh, thank God, yeah, Lesnar's, Lesnar's on Raw. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited fun. to see where the, this goes. And another thing, let's go on to the return of the man. Becky, I think. Um, yeah, you were so, there. Tell me how it was. Like, tell me so, what you experienced being as a fan. Okay, so the, the match I keep reading online, Sasha's not happening. I'm like, okay, but they're still announcing it. Maybe she's here. Maybe something. And then Carmella comes out. Like, it takes the like everybody's just like, oh. And I I look to my brother in law. I'm like, <laughs> if all right, they need to hurry up, make this match quick because uh, Becky needs to come out after this, <laughs> and then. Right, and then her music hits, and we like go crazy. We're like, "Oh shit!" We go crazy, and then the like the matches, the bell rings. Shoots a one, two, three, and we're like, "What?" <laughs> and then, like, I was like, "What the hell?" And the music starts playing, and Becky's music so good, you want to sing along no matter what. <laughs> I was like, "This is crazy!" And then as it kept going, I was like, "Oh no, Twitter's gonna." pissed yeah, about this i'm not it was like so it was so shocking that i couldn't process it like oh wait twitter no and i oh yeah in between matches i was like or well like yeah i went to after that match i went to try to get some food and yeah. i was looking and i was like bianca deserves better she's done buried kofi brock yeah. part two <laughs> and i'm like no like, uh, what do you think I, of becky being a heel i don't think it's working like yeah, it, was, it isn't I, working. I, I don't, was that even heel she was doing i, I could yeah, I I mean, mean, she, she did the conor mcgregor thing like i want to apologize for absolutely nothing and then she oh, and everybody's so cheering, <laughs> everybody's cheering. <laughs> like, and, like, and then this uh, like yeah, the when she like walked away, didn't give anybody a match. Like that was supposed to heal her, but was still she was still a badass. And then I, I, I made this analogy, like, why does she have to be healed? Why can't this be like a, a rock and soul cold to yeah. a badass heel, uh, a cocky or like a great athlete uh, and like two big stars colliding and like exactly. like we can like they can build this up for years. Like ha- let them have their one match and then Break them apart for a while, and then build it up. And this could this could main event or WrestleMania. Like, yeah, exactly. And what do you think I, of the whole field four way match? At least Liv got some recognition for once. Oh, I, I loved it. I was like, yeah. dude, they, they the it was basically like the first full hour of women, and yeah. I, I loved it. And Bianca, her she was so buried. Look how great she looked. <laughs> <laughs> and this match she looked amazing and like she's oh. still like they still love her they still she's still gonna be on top it's like she's not done yeah. she's I ba- barely been a year in the main roster yeah. she there's so much more and she to me she's still the woman of the year yeah. uh, of, of 2021 so yeah. i feel like if they hadn't done the 27 second match at SummerSlam, this would have been like on an s tier level on the next level but i i feel like even though the SummerSlam match did take away some of it. There's still a lot of hope left. They, they, they still got a full match left in them. And then what, what would it have been if, like, they had a full-on match and then Bianca wins a fatal four-way the, the Friday after? It had been like, oh, she's oh they're over-pushing her. She's going yeah, back yeah, yeah. to the title that quick. Yeah, I can't satisfy everybody, but I, I think 
Bianca's still in a great place. We're getting the one-on-one match. If we get it, it's going to be a great yeah. pay-per-view for a post-SummerSlam pay-per-view. Uh, I think another great thing to talk about is Happy Hogan. Happy, yeah, I want to say Happy, <laughs> happy Corbin. Corbin. <laughs> happy Corbin. Yeah. And uh, that was just yeah. awesome. Like him staying in Vegas, winning. I was <laughs> like, this is what I was hoping for. Why didn't you I get have... lucky, man? <laughs> Why oh, didn't you I, go I, and try? <laughs> I got, I got, I got, I won some money at Vegas. I, I down to my last four bucks and got a great bonus after that. And then <laughs> I was happy I was Christian. Done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are happy like, Chris now. <laughs> yeah, I was happy coming back from Vegas just at, like Corbin. And it's like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is the <laughs> most excited I've been with Corbin. Like, I, I'm excited to see where this goes. Yeah. Hopefully, not taking. Biggie's briefcase, but I know I I don't think so. I w- it was like so good seeing him not being j- just a uh, just a little sh- shit faced heel and being like whenever Biggie was de- declining his offers, he was smiling and he was like N- nothing's gonna affect my happiness. I'm gonna just oh, walk yeah. out he there smiling. Happy the yeah. whole time. He stayed yeah. happy. I was like, it yeah, was such a cool keep... touch. What what I was talking to my brother about. We were hoping like he'd get a little thing with uh you before he got rich with uh ted dibiase and uh oh uh cameron grimes yeah. that would have yeah. been hilarious oh, Ka- cameron grimes were, and uh, corbin doing a thing would be so funny actually yeah. they were actually you deserve it chance on smackdown uh-huh. when corbin was out there so Who yeah it was pretty funny. That <laughs> corbin corbin is at a great place right now i i, I love this and that smackdown been great we got sammy yeah. coming back facing dominic hopefully a yeah. A little when, thing between, yeah. When they said the that mysterious. it was going to be, a, yeah. Sorry, uh, when they said that it was going to be a mystery opponent, uh, like they cut to commercial. Someone said Brock was coming back and squashing Dominic, <laughs> and it was so much fun watching it during that two-minute commercial break. And when they came back with Sami Zayn, and I was even more pleased because I love him. Oh uh, yeah, uh, Sam. Uh, even the travel chief himself said, yeah. when Sami's on TV, it's good for." the show so yeah. oh, like i i have more sammy zane please and then like a little feud with the mysterios i i would love to see uh ray and sammy tear it up and but then there's like a little uh things happening between the mysterios maybe dominic is gonna I step so maybe they break them up for the draft we'll, and then we get a yeah i feel like i feel like that's what's they're edging because um, Dominic and Mystery Ray, I don't see any one of them turning heel. If one does, it's Dominic, but I don't think the right time is right now. I think mm-hmm. one of them gets drafted. Yeah. And, and they never turn Ray heel, so... Yeah, uh, he's a career babyface. Yeah. But, yeah, I think that's about it for this week. A lot of, We uh, were talking Ram- about everything. We, we were all over the place. We lost Harold in the process of it, but <laughs> rest in peace, Harold. Yeah, <laughs> but he'll be back. Um, so yeah, we're heading into All Out next Sunday. Right? Yeah, next and Sunday. I think we're gonna do something special for that. So keep an eye that on Russell underscore Buddy. Yeah. Uh, subscribe subscribe to our uh, YouTube, Russell Buddy, and we have a new interview with WCW Legend. A crowbar just got up. Uh, check that out. Check out our our other interviews, uh, quiz buddies, and we're having a very special quiz buddies episode coming up soon with some an all wrestling cast. With crowbar, we'll be there. So everybody, check that out. Subscribe, follow us. Uh, follow me on Twitter at True Critch. That you'll see all our articles there, and. How about you, Zane? What you got for us? Yeah. Uh, check out all the things Christian said, Christian said because I've already checked. You, please do check out the Crowbar interview. It's really fun. Um, you can find me on ZenPW on Twitter. I do news for Sports Kira Wrestling. I write stuff for DWM and Sports Obsessive. Yeah, mostly features. So you can find me almost everywhere except for uh, some a few sites. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> all right. Right on, guys. And. See you guys next time here on the Wrestle Buddy Podcast.